welcome back to my page so if you guys want to see this look carry on watching recording <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for coming to watch me um hello to any new subscribers and if you are new to my channel feel free to click the subscribe button somewhere uh, down there and remember to click the bell if you want an instant notification and when I upload a new video um, I haven't did one of these videos ever so I thought I'll do one I'll jump on the bandwagon this is gonna be a sort of um, first impressions video half of its PR half of its stuff that I've already bought um, I've already did my eyebrows using the um, Isla eyebrow pomade and the eyebrow um, powder and I also used a bit of the L'Oreal expert brush in ebony but somewhere around um, but anyway yeah I thought I'd do it for a new impressions I'm gonna do like an eye look but first of all I'm gonna prime my face I'm gonna use the Cover FX. You probably can't see it because it's still white. Blurring primer. This is the first time I'm using this. This was sent to me a few weeks ago. Not a few weeks ago, well, literally this week. Just because um, they did like a little package and they sent me also the mattifying spray and um, one of the golden illuminator drops. So yeah. But um, yeah, I thought I'd do this video because it's trending at the moment. And um, I feel like I don't normally do popular kind of video. Ooh. This primer is actually really nice. Um, it feels kind of silicone-y, so um, it's obviously going to blur any pores or um, any fine lines. I will not put this all over the face because it could make my face seem really, really dead. Um, I don't want to make this video super long for you, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm probably just going to do one eye, then do one eye off camera, and then do my, all my base and stuff on camera. It's hard because I'm looking at that you find the thingy but I'm just concentrating on my camera because it's a new camera I don't want to do the tutorial and it not record because it's really just gonna annoy me so um yeah okay so um what else am I gonna use to prime I'm also gonna use the Sicily um immediate instant long cream I bought this I'm gonna use this on the outside perimeter of my face because I love it so so much um it's a bit expensive but I've tried to put things in here that aren't expensive and aren't um, so luxury because I know not everyone can afford these kind of products so I'll just switch it down okay so um, I'm gonna preview the new Real Techniques brushes that look like that I actually went to Sam and Nick's um, launch event for this and they launched their brushes let me show you them um, what's that all? No, that's a nice one. So look like that, and one comes like this. It's called the Powder Blue Collection and a Puff. Um, I'm gonna use some of the brushes throughout the tutorial, but I just wanna thank Sam and Nick for inviting me down and their PR. It was such a beautiful event, and they were so nice. Like, I was watching them for like, I've been watching them since I was like a teenager, so it was quite crazy. So okay, I'm gonna go in with, if I can find it. So, I'm really sweating at the moment. It's so hot in here. So I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder just to set my face. I'm gonna use the puff. I'm gonna look a little bit crazy. I just do this before I put foundation on. I know this is a video at the moment, but this actually works. I got it from Jackie Aina. If you guys want me to do a video on this, then comment down below because it is a good hack um okay i'm gonna do eyes first because my eyebrows are already done um okay i'm gonna use the urban decay eyeshadow primer in original which looks like that i'll put some on the lid okay so i'm trying to think what palette to use okay i'm trying to think what looks like i really should have planned this before like um actually done it okay hold on yeah i really should have planned this okay so i'm gonna use 
the Marc Jacobs palette which looks like that. This is called Glambition. I got this when Marc Jacobs taught me to see Adele. It was insane! And you know, the colours are like this. I'm going to use all the colours in the palette because it's such a beautiful palette. Look at that. So gorge. Um, this palette you could do so many looks with. I'm just going to do something quite simple. Um, I may need another colour though for a transition. Mm, I may need something a bit orangey. Have I got something in here? Okay, so to start off, I'm going to use this colour by Makeup Geek, which is called Coco Bear. I'm just going to use this as a transition colour. Let me zoom in for you. This colour this <laughs> this color actually isn't new. Um, I've had it for ages, but it's a really good transition colour. So I'm going to use um, this colour. That's a darker of the crease. Okay, I'm going to take a 239 by MAC and then I'm going to go in with a bit of this gold colour there because it's so cute. This colour is called, the gold colour is called Known For, which is in the Marc Jacobs Glamazon palette. Ooh. So nice. It's the first time you're using this palette, by the way. These eyeshadows blend out like a damn dream. The pigment on them is like, yes! I keep looking at the monitor when I should be looking in there. So now as that colour's on, I'm going to go back in with that brown just to deepen it up. So I'm now going to add some liner. Um, I'm going to add the Marc Jacobs Blacker Liner. I've never used this before. I'm going to do this off camera just because it's going to be a bit intense. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. So basically, I just used the Marc Jacobs um, Blacker Liquid Liner, which is also waterproof, which kind of looks like that. Nothing too crazy. And I also went with the highlighter in Blacker just to um, sort of tight line the lashes. Um, now I'm going to go in with this amazing eyeliner. <clears throat> This was actually sent to me today by the lovely PR team. Thank you so much. Um, this is in Fine Wine. When I went to the Marc Jacobs event, I saw this eyeliner and I was just like, this is a bit of me. So I'm going to try it in the waterline and see how we get on. Actually love it. So nice. Before it dries, I'm gonna go in back in with the brown color, which is called um, Over the Top from the Glamazon palette. <laughs> Check out 
I'm gonna take my smudger. Where is it? This was legit like like a get ready with me really. This this is what it basically was. Um to add a bit of pop to the to those eyes. I'm basically gonna take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter and Midnight Cowboy. I'm just gonna add it at the start of the eye. I love these glitter liners, they're so, so nice. Then I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. Um, this is the new, I've never used this before, it's the new um, Velvet Noir um, Major Volume by Marc Jacobs. Wow, they love a name, don't they? <clears throat> but I'm actually loving my eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a few coats. I'm not doing lashes just because Lashes just get really messy for me because my eyelashes are already so curly. I can really build up the volume. And the eyes are done, guys. So, and that was the eyes. Um, it's kind of like I don't know what kind of color. It's like a goldy kind of smoky, bronzy. I actually love it, it's nice, it's cute. So now that the eyes are done, um, I'm gonna go in with my base. Now I've already primed my face with the Sicily Primer, so I'm gonna take the NYX Total Control Drops. This is in the color Coca. Um, I've used this before, but I don't think I've already put them on my channel. These drops are actual, yeah, these drops are actual life. Um, you can control the coverage, so like four drops is like four, so you obviously know, girl, I'm gonna do four. Okay. I'm just putting some on my hand. Then I'm gonna take the new Clarisonic makeup brush, which they sent me ages ago. I did review for it on Instagram, but I haven't done one on YouTube. I'm just gonna take some of that and go like that. So I should just do dots with the brush. Mmm. This brush is actually really nice. It does everything so quickly. That's the brush. This foundation is a tiny bit darker than what I am because when I came up from Miami, I had a, I had a slight tan, so um, it worked for me then. But I think this brush is really good just for putting on foundation really quickly and really blending it out. Then I normally go in with a beauty blender just to reach the sides in certain areas. I could probably do with a brush to be fair. But um, this, this, I can't even get my words out. This foundation's so nice. I like it because it's matte. And in the UK, I think it's like eight pounds or 10 pounds. But I heard, in, I heard in America, it's like $14. So that sounds about right. Ooh. I think once I add my highlight and stuff under my eye, it's really just gonna bring it really, it's gonna bring it more forward if you get what I mean. But so far, my favorites have been, um, I'm actually loving the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette. It's actually really, really nice. Um, even the Becca primer, not Becca, Cover of X primer. You guys let me know what videos you want to see, just because I'm trying to do more videos for you guys. And um, you guys know I don't really do a lot of makeup looks, but if you let me guys know what you want to see, I could film something for you. Okay, so that's done. Um, I'm sure I had a concealer. It's probably still in here. So I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in um, Cafe. It's under my eyes, just because I normally layer it with concealers. This isn't a new product, but um, I just love the way it looks under my eyes and it's good at covering darkness as well. Sorry guys, something was in my eye. Um, okay, so a product that I bought from Beauty Bay yesterday. I actually love Beauty Bay. I actually got to go to their carnival a few 
months ago last year to see Jeffree Star, Manny MUA and Patrick Star and that was super super cute. <coughs> So I was on their website. I wanted to get the new. I wanted to get some more LA Pro Girl concealers. Um, I got the colors Fawn and Warm Honey. I think I'm gonna use Warm Honey to highlight just because something's in my eye, guys. It's annoying me. I think it might be this eyeliner. So I bought Warm Honey just to highlight with, just because I want a super bright highlight. So I actually love these concealers. LA Pro is so affordable and I feel like anyone can get them and the quality is amazing. I haven't used these for a few years, but I know it's just gonna do the job. They crease a tiny bit, but you just gotta be careful. Like I know not to take them right directly right under my eye. So you can go straight to them. But oh my God, so the next product, I've heard so much about and I was just like did you guys know that Bobby Brown have discontinued golden orange the loose what but I didn't really realize until I was searching for it yesterday and no nowhere had it it was just sold out whatever girl so anyway I've got the beauty bakery um, setting powder flower in yellow and I'm gonna set my under eyes with this let's just see how this works because oh, Golden Orange was my colour. I'm going to use a Real Techniques um, BL2 just to set this. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> First impression is I love it. I love the way it's looking on camera. It's so finely milled. When I pull it on my face, it just feels like, it feels like air, like, it feels like, I don't know, like, it's definitely more fine and milled than Bobbi Brown Golden Orange. The color's very yellow, but it is called yellow. So Golden Orange had that warmth to it, which I liked, but as a highlight, this is just super, super beautiful. I'm living for it, so it's definitely won me over. Um, it just looks, it, it looks beautiful. Um, beautiful, and this brush to apply it to was gorgeous. So um, I'm gonna contour now. I'm gonna use the NYX Total Control Drops in um, Deep Espresso. This is actually a foundation, but obviously I'm gonna use it to contour as well. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do it. Drop there, drop there. Okay, this is watery. Okay, oh. So, okay, I don't want it to drip on me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. The colours for this are amazing. Jesus. Okay, is that enough to contour? So, cheeks, nose, let's start to blend. So that foundation to contour with is actually stunning. Um, obviously, to build up the coverage of the contour, you have to use more drops. So I only use one drop, but it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna use the Real Techniques brush in B01. Oh, it's tapered like, oh yes. And then I'm gonna take Anastasia's um, Karub to contour. I bought this, so this is not a PR product. Um, the powder, I've used it before. Then I'm gonna use a bit of that Beauty Bakery powder. And then I'm gonna take the same brush which I applied to, and I'm just gonna cut that contour. Ooh, this is powdery. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Now wipe that off. I'm not going to leave it for too long. But then I'm going to top it up with some bronzer. Okay. All done. So a product that I'm going to use now is I'm going to obviously going to highlight, but where's that product gone? So this is by Beauty Pie. So this is by Beauty Pie. It's like a liquid highlighter. It's called Illuminati. I mentioned Beauty Pie on my channel before. They're basically like the Netflix of makeup. You pay a monthly subscription fee and you can buy makeup at um, at a marked at the market sale price. So I'm gonna use this. This looks a bit more of a champagne colour, but let's see how we get along. Let's see if it beats Cover FX or Iconic London. It doesn't look as golden, but we'll try it anyway. If not, we can always add some cover effects to Iconic. I'm going to blend this out. Let's see how it blends. Okay, it's blending nice. Come through highlight. Okay, so that's the first time we're using the drops. The drops are beautiful. They don't look super ashy, which I was scared they were gonna look. Um, they're blended really well, so <clears throat> what more can you say? So another new thing that I got is the Morphe M510. Manny MUA uses this. I haven't used it, it's clean, pointy, and obviously um, perfect for highlight because if he uses it, obviously I need to use it, girl. And the next new item I got is by Ofra. So this is in the color. Um, blissful which I got a beauty bite also so I'm just gonna try and highlight with this just to set that liquid oh my god oh um, are you guys are you guys seeing this ha that is some intense ass highlight Oh, let me just blend that out. I'm just gonna use a beauty blender just to press that in. Guys, this highlight is a joke. It's a bit chalky, but it's nice. It's not chalky, but it's very powdery. I'm just gonna use a beauty blender just to buff that in so it doesn't look Oh my God, how beautiful is this? So I'm gonna do the end of the nose and the tip. Come through, come through. And do the chin. I'm gonna highlight all over. Okay, I'm gonna do forehead do that the pigment on this is life I'm gonna blend that in. the brush is beautiful it's because it's so pointy and like a tip I'm actually living for it like I love it there's not one product that I haven't been like mmm and what else um, what else can we add now um, I think that's it really then to set it Hmm. Is that all I need to add? Obviously, I'm going to add a lip, but let me just set this all first. And then I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Candlelight Powder. And I'm going to use the BX03. I'm just going to swirl that. Just to set my face. Okay, that's all set. Beautiful brush. Okay, um, so what I'm going to add now is I'm going to do the lip, then I'm going to do some setting spray. Okay, I'm going to use the Cover FX. This is too light. Maybe it's the light around me. The mattifying spray. 
Ooh. It's a nice mist. Oops. I'm gonna push the excess in. Then I'm gonna use the All Nighter by Urban Decay. So I'm gonna go in with Tarte's, um, what's it called? The creamiest lip paint or something. Love this, it's so creamy. Then I'm gonna go in with the, I don't know if this is a new shade, but this is the L'Oreal Lip Paint Matte. I actually bought this myself. This is in the color Nude on Fleek. And then I'm just gonna use this in the center of the lip because this looks a bit too dark for me. It's so nice and so nude. Look at this highlight. Ooh, okay, so that looks all finished. I think everything's finished now. Do you guys like the look? So that was a full... <laughs> This highlight is so bright. Wow, it's blinding. I love the lip. So I was gonna add, I was gonna be extra and add some stars and stuff. I'm not sure I might do. Okay, so guys, I tried to add some accessories onto the cheekbone, which look like that with some stars, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it, but they're cute. But anywho, thank you guys for watching this look, and let me know if you want more looks like this.